what is going on guys it is your boy crypto Mikel here coming today with a how to hardware and software video guys today we will be going over foreman and how to use it now of course we do have a ckb asic that we will be uh we go ahead and went and set up as of right about now freaking fa i just got to configure this one real fast and then uh we can show you how to set up foreman so let's go dive into that so now that's set up, we're done with that. And now we can just go ahead and move on forward with our video guys. We're going to set up Foreman. We're going to use a Raspberry Pi for this. This is actually um, donated from an old Helium hotspot, which is a two gigabyte version. It's an old OG hotspot. You can actually utilize those if you are not partaking in that network anymore. It's a good way to get those. Otherwise you have to go buy them on Amazon. And they're about 130 bucks, right as you can see right about here. This is a two gigabyte version of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. As you can tell, uh, you can go ahead and get a case with it. That would be ideal. This whole setup right here would actually be uh, perfect. Um, comes with a good power source, as well as a Raspberry Pi and a passive cooling case. You don't really need intensive cooling on this for what it is doing. Like I said, we are using Foreman uh, right here. It's an unified management for your cryptocurrency miners. Uh, sign up for free for 30 days. Now it is free um, for 25 miners. All right, so if you have less than 25 ASICs, it's, it's free for you no matter what. All right, as you can see right here, 25 miners, free. Remote ASIC management, profitability reporting, and basic alerting. And you don't get some of these extra little, little things, but for the standard you do but for 30 days you get the full um the full shebang here on uh foreman now you just got to make an account link in the description below of how to do that i already have an account and i already have a pickaxe but we're going to install a second pickaxe and um get to another network um one of the uh the ckb asics i actually have uh was giving me issues with Wi-Fi and getting connected to the other network where I can do this. So it's been a challenge, but we got it where we can do this. So I will leave a link for all this stuff down in the description below. You can head down here to uh, raspberrypi.com, get the installer and you can get to work. All right. And we will just head over here first. We're going to choose operating system. Now we're going to go ahead and choose the Raspberry and Pi OS 32 bit custom storage uh, we're just going to use the one that I have plugged in and we will write it's going to overwrite everything that is perfectly fine because uh, we need a new a new version anyway so as this writes we will be right back and uh, go ahead and set up your foreman account or log into my foreman account but you set yours up and uh, we'll dig further into this All right, so now we can go ahead and just click continue. We're done. Okay, click exit. Now we can just go ahead and plug in our Raspberry Pi, which we are using right here. I'm um, just normal Raspberry Pi. I have a fan on it just because I had it on it anyway. And uh, we're just going to use this as the means to do everything that we need to do. So Let's get this thing turned on and boot it up. We'll show you full install and we'll dig further into that. All right, so as you can see, we have the Raspberry Pi is good to go. We just need to start setting it up. So we're just going to go ahead and click next. And this is not the United Kingdom. Click next. All right, now we just gotta enter a username and a complicated password. So I'll be lowercase, click next. Screen setup, that's not, that doesn't make it look any better. Plus it's not gonna matter. So let's go ahead and set up the Wi-Fi real fast. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and click next. It needs to go ahead and update now that you've connected to Wi-Fi, unless you've just connected it directly via 
the ethernet port i know at the family mine we just use the ethernet port it's easier and it just sets right there on top of the uh on top of the switch now the switch we have actually has a 5 volt uh usb 3.0 port on the back that you can actually power a pi from or use it how we have uh set up right now with uh, poe uh, power over ethernet so that is also another option now in this case i have mine on wi-fi because i have one that is here at the house and it makes it just 10 times easier to run it off of wi-fi here um because it all you have to do is supply power to it and set it near power and it'll just do its thing but while this is going i can show you a little bit here so as you can see this is my uh my pickaxe some of the stuff is blurred out of course but you just head over into miners and this is where we are going to see all of your asics um of course i have and this one is offline because this is the one that we are currently testing on and I'm running it on a different network right now. So there you go. It works with my gold shells pretty dang well, as well as give you a full look over the dashboard, which is extremely nice for some miners are having issues because we have one that is uh, offline. So pretty freaking cool. Now we head back. Ah, they're going to make me add uh make a second account so um i'm just gonna make another account real quick while we're still waiting for um this thing to finish up and finish loading so be right back so it is now up to date good to go we will go ahead and click restart now we got a raspberry pi open this next part is pretty important. Settings, preferences. You need to go to Raspberry Pi configuration, go to interfaces and turn on SSH. That way you can remote into it from any of your PC, your PC that is on the same network. Um, it is just easier to do that when copy and pasting um stuff from your uh, foreman dashboard when you go to update so pretty simple that's all you really need to do uh, click ok done that's it now you can actually just go ahead and you can um you can even unplug uh, your hdmi cord you don't even need it because now you're just going to run the foreman script from ssh and get it going from there and foreman runs automatically so you'll never actually have to get back into this dashboard uh, really ever again unless you need to do some updates or anything of that sort so let's head on over to putty and get started a little further now, do make sure that you know the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. If you don't, uh, before you close out your window um, or disconnect your monitor, go ahead and open up a new terminal and just type in IF, just like this, or I'll type it down below, IF config. Type enter, you will find your uh, IP address right there, native um, in Ubuntu. All right. so makes it easy now while we're waiting for this head on in over here this is a brand new um, foreman account and we do not have any any miners or any pickaxes so we need to go to pickaxe and we need to get started here all right so we need to download and install pickaxe when you click the get started it dropped down that menu all right so we are going to installing this on Linux so we do not need um, anything else other than this information right here all right so you're gonna win. go ahead and copy this first line right here control copy and you will go on over into your terminal here 
you just right click to paste and click enter all right so it's going to go ahead and install the uuid runtime and go through the whole process of setting up pickaxe simple as that and linux will automatically update your pickaxe server as it goes on and continues to run so there's no need for you to do anything and this is if you need where it is installed at on your Raspberry Pi's um, hard drive, as well as how to start your services, how to stop your services, and how to restart. All right, now we do know that it, it starts automatically, so we do not need to start it, and it should pop up automatically um, in our pickaxe. All right, so let's go check that out. All right, so now that our pickaxe is set up and good to go here, uh, we can go ahead and add a miner. So we will go find miners, select the type. So we're going to look for our gold shell. We are going to find miners by a simple type. All right, so a simple search. And now we'll do like 10.0.0.2. So like 10.0.0.1 right now for gold shells their stuff their admin and password is what one two three four five six seven eight nine is their default password so i just reset this so it reset back to default now once if you've changed your password you need to specify that right We'll search by IP or we'll name it by miner type and IP address. And if you have a whole bunch of miners, this is good to know. That way you know which miner is which. Click start. It'll go ahead and search through the, I don't know what the 18 IP addresses that we gave it to select. All right. So we'll be right back whenever it goes through all 18, which literally won't take, but a few seconds if you're going through hundreds of ip addresses for like a huge farm yeah it, it, it could take a while but oh yeah see didn't even take any time at all one miner was found f8 of that as you can see it added it right here ip address port etc you don't see most of this but click save now our new miner has been added and boom, you now have an ASIC over here on uh, on your Foreman dashboard. So we'll give it some time to sync up. That way we can look at all the stats and give you like a, a little more of a detailed overview. All right, so as you can see here, it is up and running. Now you can see temperatures, hash rate, uh, rejected percentages, stale shares, etc. Full on rundown here of everything that's going on highest temperature the max fan miner is healthy gives you breakdown of temperatures where you're mining to over your worker your pools your accepted share rejected share everything that you would see normally on your uh, ckb dashboard you can even click the ip address right here and it'll take you straight to the miner itself i think it's pretty cool it is a very uh, handy piece of software um, that we do use at the family mine. Now, I really like this. It's pretty great. I really hope, really hope that you enjoyed this um, little how-to video. It's a little lengthy, but it gives you a full rundown of how to set up a pickaxe server um, and get a miner or an ASIC miner um, to said pickaxe and get it up and going now if you would like to unplug your pickaxe from wherever it is like right now mine's right here by my feet by my feet on the floor um it's sitting there you can just unplug it go put it wherever you would like if you're running wi-fi um you can go plug it in anywhere and um, it'll start the pickaxe right back up and you'll be good to go no no fuss no mess be good to go just make sure that you are using the correct voltage 
for your Raspberry Pi. I had that issue with one of my power bricks supplied four volts instead of five, and it didn't really work half the time. So stay tuned for that. We'll have more videos coming soon of using Foreman, um, kind of a further deep dive, but today's video is just to get it, how to get it set up and configured to view your miners. See you all the next time, guys. Much love. Peace out. Keep on mining and stay savage.